Hello everyone, welcome back to Odo 16 development tutorials. In this video, let us discuss about Pivot View in Odo 16. Pivot View helps the user to analyze the operations which have different options to filter based on specific fields used in the model. Also, which allows to download a report which in a XLS format. So, Let's try to add a pivot view for our school management, which helps to filter out the student and then their admission code, etc. So, in the school management module, in the views school.xml, along with the action student in the view mode, let's define the view mode of pivot 2. So, I added the pivot. And then I'm just trying to create the record for pivot as record and its ID as school pivot view. Where of model ir.ui.view. And record of name school.pivot.view. And of model school.student. Here we can add for which model is our pivot view is needed. And then field name arc and type is XML. And inside this arc type, we need to define our pivot. And for that, let's define the pivot tag. Inside this pivot tag, we can define our pivot view. First of all, for this pivot, we need to add uh, a string name. So, I am just defining it as a string as student view, you know, student analysis. Then, let us add the field. So, I am just simply adding only one field that is student name. So, field name is name and then here we can define its type as either row or measure if it is row it will be seen on row or if it is measure it will act as a measure for analysis so at here i am just defining it as row only and then if we need to add further more fields we can add those fields also like the fields such as uh, class ID division. So, it will be the uh, analysis will be versus of this class ID and uh, it means if we added it as row the, along with the name the uh, class ID will be also shown in the row or if you need to add measure the each uh, measure that means based on the each class ID the analysis get. So, let us run the pie charm and then go to the UI. Let us try to upgrade the module. So, module is upgraded. Let us go to school management. Go to the pivot view. Rather than from order 15, the icon for the pivot view is get changed. So, let us click on the pivot view. So, based on the row that is we added that is name, it is calculated at here. So, it shows the count of each student admission and then also we can add it based on also we can filter it based on the admission code or such as. class etc and also in the pivot view if we need to download this as a report we can download it using a xls format and which gives a, a reporting format of the filter that we taken on the pivot view that's all about the idea of how to create pivot view in auto 60. thank you for watching the video Thank you.